Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Today we're going to be check out, checking out Thunderbird, an application mail client alternative to something such as Gmail or Yahoo Mail. Alright, and instead of it being on the web browser, such as Gmail, you actually access it from an app. So there's an app installed on your computer allowing you to, basically Thunderbird is an email app that you can check. The nice things about it are that you don't have to sign in all the time. You, you can download messages, so if there's something that you need, like if there's a message that you need to be able to read offline for whatever reason, easily download that to your computer. Or you can set it to download all. You can set it to literally download every message you receive so that you don't miss anything even when you're offline. So that is really nice, but can kind of be, can kind of take up a little extra megabytes if you choose to do it that way, downloading everything. But it is a nice little app. You can put it right on your home screen. Easy email checking. It loads, at least for me, it loads faster than Gmail. And it's just super nice. Don't worry. You can use your Gmail account with it. If you're me and you have a something email blah 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 at google.com at, at gmail.com, then you can easily, whether your Gmail, Yahoo, anything, whatever your email is, you can easily hook it up to Thunderbird without having to get a new email. So that's really nice. Anyway, let's get into this. Again, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Get those notifications on so you don't miss out when I make new videos because they're pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Tech videos, tutorials, reviews, explanations, and much more. Whatever you need with tech, I've got it. Have a request? Put it in the discussion tab up there. Anyway, let's check out Thunderbird. Enough of me talking. Alright guys, so here we are on, again, Lubuntu. Um, it is pretty awesome. Anyway, so... I installed uh, Thunderbird Mail from the Software Center. Although you could do it from uh, the Synaptic Package Manager or the Terminal if you wanted to, as always. So we're just going to close this out. And here's Thunderbird. I had it open. So um, now you can see we have basically our name here, and um, we can add it. We can actually add our email right here, and then our password right there. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm I'm gonna do that. I don't want you guys to see. Don't don't feel offended, but I don't want you guys to see my personal information. So I'm gonna pause the video. Alright, so here's Thunderbird. We got all our email here, and we can go to our drafts. We could go to sent mail. I just made a new email for this, so it shouldn't um, be much. And then that's all mail, spam, trash, start, everything. Say if we want to open it, say like this email from Taco Bell. It will open it in the tab. Then, say if I open this other one, it will also open a new tab, which is kind of nice. So, yeah. Um, and then we could go up here, and we can. Let's see. We can write messages. We can add a new email account manage our offline settings let's see what that does right there yeah. but we can manage our offline settings manage our message filters stuff like that really nice so um yeah that's Mozilla Thunderbird and 
It's really easy to access. Say if I want to add it to my desktop, there it is. Thunderbird is on my desktop, and I can easily click it to get there. So that's really nice. I really like this software. Uh, it organizes everything nicely. Um, no, and it's just it's just really nice. Everything's just you know just all. I don't know, but it's really organized. It loads fast. You can view multiple tabs, which is something that Gmail can do. And it's just really nice overall. I really love it. And it runs really quickly. So, uh, yeah. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I do videos like this all the time. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. That's it for today.